Hi guys, today I'm doing this look for you and this, I'm very excited to say, is a collab video. I'm do I, have I feel like I haven't done a collab video in so long. I'm collaborating with Harry Mix It Up, who if you haven't heard of, definitely go and check out her channel. If you like my videos, I think you'll really, really love her videos. She's a makeup artist, she's based in London. She does phenomenal, just phenomenal tutorials and sometimes she gets other YouTubers in and gives them makeovers. I loved the makeover she did on Lily Pebbles, like, absolutely amazing but we're collaborating together today and I think it is such a cool idea for a video Harry came up with it not me so I can't take the credit so we decided to recreate a makeup look from our favorite advertising campaign and I decided to go with probably quite a safe option but honestly it is one of my all-time favorite advertising campaigns and that is La Natalie Portman in the Miss Dior campaign. I just, that whole campaign is just so my cup of tea. It's French, it's it's just like dreamy and 60s and flowers and hazy, beautiful bardo hair, the whole, everything is just beautiful about it. And of course, when you're finished watching my video, head on over to Harry's channel and have a look and see what look she created. I actually don't know what look she's doing yet, so I'm really, really excited to see what she came up with. You can click on the screen here and that'll open up her video in a new window, so it'll be all loaded and ready to go by the time you're finished watching mine. But if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. First, I'm going to take a little bit of my Pore Professional Primer by Benefit. It is that magical time of the month for me, so I'm feeling a little bit more porous and greasy than usual, so that's why I've gone for this primer today. For my foundation today, I'm going to use the Lancome Photogenic, and I'm not sure I've ever actually used this on my channel before. This is one of Lancome's foundation for dry skin, so that's why I don't really use it. I've got very oily skin, um, but I do use it in my kit. A lot of you ask me questions about what foundations I use for dry skin, and that's one of my favorites actually, because I think it gives really lovely, a really smoothing effect to the skin. So it's great if you've got texture issues, like if you have like roughness in your skin or even a bit of flakiness, and the coverage is really nice. Um, it looks beautiful on my skin, but only for about an hour, <laughs> and then it tends to go a little bit on the oily side, but I just wanted to use something a bit different today. For my concealer today, I'm using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20 and I'm just going to take my ring finger and first just bring that around my nose. I'm a little bit red around the nose and I have I have a little bit of a situation on the chin. Again, that's thanks to the magical lady time. <sighs> Hormones. Damn you! Pencil brushes actually make fantastic concealer brushes for blemishes. So you get the concealer exactly where you want it and then you just kind of dab around the edges just to blend it out. And under my eyes I'm going to use my NARS Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. And then I'm going to use my Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light to set. And I'm just taking a small Sigma brush to set under the eyes first. And then just a bigger fluffy brush to set everywhere else. I'm going to finish the skin now actually and first I'm going to take some highlight and today I'm using the MAC Emphasize Highlighter which is just an off-white highlight. I've been looking at a few of the different images of um, Natalie Portman in those ad campaigns and she did quite a few of them actually and in every one of them she does look like she has kind of a not a very shiny highlight but her skin is very illuminated if that makes sense so there's definitely like some kind of sculpture happening and definitely some contour and this is a great product for that actually because that white color is really going to lift the areas of the face as long as you're like a, a light to medium skin tone you probably could couldn't really get away with it if you're a little bit on the darker side um and it's also not too shiny so you can build it up to get that slightly more opaque white payoff without it being like super wet look shiny and I'm just using that same Sigma brush I used for the under eye powder just popping that in that C shape along the top of my cheekbones and my brow bone. I'm just taking the tip of that brush I'm gonna buff some right on the inside corner at the bridge of the nose to brighten up in there too. And then to add some colour to my face, I'm going to use this, this has got such a long name, it's the Physician's Formula Super BB All-in-One Beauty, Beauty Balm Bronzer and Blush in Light Medium. That was a lot of alliteration. I'm going to go into the bronze side first. I'll just use this to give a little bit of colour and also to start kind of sculpting out, sculpting out some cheekbones. So I'm going to bring it in the hollow of my cheek first and then just blend it upwards. 
around the forehead, around the hairline on my forehead. It's just sort of across my nose a little bit too, under my chin. And then I'll go into the pink side. Now this is super pigmented, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of the product, dust it off on my hand. I'm just gonna go on the apple of the cheeks. So I'm applying that quite high as well. I'm starting at the apple kind of about if I drew a line from my pupil straight down, starting at about that point, and then working back up the top of the cheekbones. And that's quite a youthful placement. It's a really rosy now, it's quite strong now. I'm gonna go over it with my foundation brush to knock it back. But um, she does actually have quite rosy. What? <laughs> How did that even happen? So moving on to the eyes, before I do the eyebrows, I'm first gonna take a little bit of my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC on a concealer brush and starting from the socket I'm gonna just put that on the brow bone up towards the brow so I'm not actually putting this on the eyelid I'm gonna put another cream eyeshadow there in a second but I just want to use this as a kind of a neutralizer on that part of my eye to take away any of that veiny freckly bluey gray color I have and just just neutralize that basically so onto the brows I'm just gonna comb all the hairs upwards with the spoolie first. And today I'm just gonna use eyeshadow. I want my brows to be soft, but a little bit darker than they are naturally. So for that I'm using Espresso Eyeshadow by MAC. So Natalie has quite a distinctive brow shape. They're a lot straighter than mine are and not as arched. So I'm gonna try and make my brows like a little bit straighter. Um, I'm not gonna try and do that too much though because otherwise my brows will end up looking very, very thick. Um, but I'm just gonna try and flatten out that arch a tiny bit by coming straight across rather than arching up and back down again. Onto the eyes, I'm first gonna take this Mary Kay cream eyeshadow. This is called Glacier Grey. I'm just working the brush in and then I'm gonna take the excess off on my hand and I'm just gonna very lightly buff that all over the eyelid. It looks like the colors she's wearing are kind of taupe, like, dove grey colours with a slightly warmer brown. Um, it's hard to tell, it's always very hard to tell with these kind of campaigns because the photos are so heavily edited. It's really, really hard to know exactly what colours that they, they did use. But um, this is this is my interpretation of it anyway. I'm just buffing that all over the eyelid and then what, whatever's left on the brush, I'm just buffing that ever so slightly higher than my socket towards the eyebrow, just a little bit onto the brow bone just to give a bit of a transition shade up there. And with that same eyeshadow, but a slightly pointier, more tapered eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna bring that on the lower lash line again, just making sure I take the excess off. I'm just gonna run that right along the lashes on my lower lash line. Take my concealer brush to soften the edge of that. I'm gonna go back into Emphasize by MAC, my skin highlighter, on that pointy eyeshadow brush again. And I'm just gonna pop that around the very inside this is just gonna act as my highlight. Next, I'm gonna take some of my Makeup Store Maasai eyeshadow, and I actually forgot to use this already. I'm gonna be using this as my cheek contour, I forgot to do that earlier, but I'm also gonna use it as my eye contour. On that same eyeshadow brush, again, just take off the excess, I'm gonna just softly run this into my socket. And I definitely don't want this to be a very, very crease heavy look like a cut crease or anything like that. I just wanna add an extra bit of definition in there just to frame the eye and open them up again. And I'm not actually joining this into my lower lash line. I'm just stopping shy. Um, so I'm kind of, it will make sense when the eyeliner goes on, but basically I'm kind of imagining that the eyeliner is already there and it's coming straight up this way at the same angle of my lower lash line. And I'm ending this crease color where I know the eyeliner is gonna cut through. I hope that makes sense. Taking the same angle brush I used for my eyebrows and that Maasai eyeshadow, I'm gonna plot that in at the roots of the lashes on my lower lash line. Just buff it out with that pointy eyeshadow brush. So onto the eyeliner, I think it's the signature part of this look and I have a new eyeliner, I'm so excited. I have been me meaning to buy new gel eyeliner for months. I decided to go with the Maybelline one. I quite like that one. And you know what? I actually really quite like the little brushes that you get with these gel liners, so I'm just gonna use that. I'm gonna start with the flick, very outside of my eye, and I'm actually, I'm gonna go at a bit of a steeper angle than I usually would, so I'm not gonna come as straight out. I'm gonna go a little bit more up this way.
Just using a brush with a tiny bit of concealer on it just to take off the edge. I don't want it to be quite as pointy as that. And I'm also just going to take a little bit of that liner on the top waterline. For mascara today, I'm using Max Oat and Naughty. I'm just gonna do the pink side today because I'm gonna be popping on some individual false lashes. So I don't want my uh, lashes to be too heavily coated in mascara just yet. Before I pop on the lashes, I'm gonna take that Maasai eyeshadow and that little Sigma brush again, and I'm gonna do a teeny bit of contouring because it definitely looks like she has contouring. Nobody has cheekbones that amazing, right? I'm gonna pop on some individual lashes today. I'm gonna to mix a little bit of the Ardell mediums and maybe one or two long. Look at all of the half opened packets of individual lashes I have. I really need to, I really need to start finishing these. So while the lashes are drying, I'm gonna do my lips, but I'll go back and pop on a little bit of mascara and fix where the glue is um, once the lips are done. But first I'm gonna take a little bit of lip pencil. I'm gonna take the Urban Decay 24 seven in Native. I feel like I'm all weird with my hands right now. Next, I'm going to take Cream Cup Lipstick by MAC. No, this is Angel, not Cream Cup. I'm just out and out lie. Angel, nice soft pink. Yeah, this is a little bit too pink. I'm just going to take my finger to tone that down a bit. And then, finally, Gloss. This is one of the Stila lip glazes in the colour Passion Fruit. And that's the finished look. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial, guys. I really hope you give it a go yourself because it is actually a super duper easy look to do. The only tricky part is the eyeliner and all that is is a matter of practice. Definitely go check out Harry's video as well. You can click on the screen here, it'll open it up. Go say hello, go subscribe to her. She is really, really fantastic. You'll really, really love her, guys. And if you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe, especially if you're a new person that came from Harry's channel. Hi, guys why not subscribe? I put out lots of makeup videos and stuff and it's real fun. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon. Bye.